Robert McKinnon makes a living from fishing. But his real passion is hunting for treasure. He's discovered over a hundred shipwrecks. He's one of the most successful treasure hunters in Canada. If something's been hidden for 250 years or 300 years and you're, you find it, that's satisfaction. This is like striking oil. But McKinnon isn't the sort to brag about his discoveries. Oh yeah, there's a lot of mystery to it. There's some wrecks that are really hard to find. There's some wrecks that we've looked for where we haven't found and probably will never find. It's a lot of luck. I'll say it's luck anyhow. Today, McKinnon is headed for Scattery Island, just a few kilometers from Manadu. Dozens of ships met their end here. This was one of them the HMS Feversham, a British naval ship. On a foggy night in 1711, it ran into a shoal off the tip of Scattery Island. Its remains are scattered over half an acre along the island's coastline. All that's left of the old warship are rusty anchors, deteriorating cannons, cannonballs that look like ordinary rocks. In the case of the Feversham, we found coin immediately, and we knew the coins were valuable because we had information on this type of coin previously. And naturally, we figured if we found more of them, it'd be valuable or worthwhile work on the wreck. We assumed there'd be more anyhow. I don't think the people that picked at it did a thorough job. As a matter of fact, did no job at all. So there's been no, there was no major excavation done on the Feversham site. By major excavation, it would take three to four years, three months a year or more, to go through a wreck site like this. So McKinnon took the big gamble he started digging in 1985. It was expensive, $10,000 a week. He had to get American backers. In two summers, he and his divers moved tons of rock. They hit pay dirt. They uncovered silver coins from New England, then a British colony. The coins were special. They were the first ones minted in North America. The big risk paid off. McKinnon won't know what the coins are worth, until they're auctioned off in February at Christie's in New York. But he's done his research and he's optimistic. The book value on most of these coins is around 2,000 American five years ago. It's possible that could be doubled, at least half again. So we've got coins that, we've got all the series of coins. We've got the uh, pine trees, the New England, willow, oak. Some of the New England coins are worth as high as $75,000 now. And we're not hoping for that high, but we assume we get half of that for some of the coins at an auction. <laughs>